there, Charlie here, Communications Manager for Cornell Cooperative Extension, and this is my little pet project, Good Work New York, a podcast where we're talking about all the good work that happens here in Rockland, the Hudson Valley, and all of New York State. And today I have with me Miss Kristen. Say hello. Hello. Miss Kristen, who are you? I'm the 4-H Resource Educator with the Cornell Cooperative Extension of Rockland County. That's great. So earlier you and I were talking about the State Fair. Now, I know all there is to know about the State Fair, so you don't have to tell me, but for all the people out there who might associate State Fair with, say, I don't know, Blue Ribbon Award-winning pies only, could you tell them more about the State Fair? Sure. So the State Fair is a 13-day event that typically happens at the end of August through Labor Day, and it features a bunch of different things. So it has animal shows, it has uh, agricultural exhibits, and also has entertainment and rides. So it's a lot of fun. That's great. Now. We sent some of our four teachers up there to do a presentation. Yeah, so in March we had a county level public presentation. So youth did some research and they presented on a variety of topics. And then at the State Fair, they had the State Fair Invitational for 4-H members. And so we had two of our youth who went up to give their presentations for a moving audience and also for some of their family members. That's great. That mm -hmm. sounds like a wonderful opportunity. Now. A few weeks ago you had me help do some judging for projects that we sent up. What kind of projects do 4 h send to State Fair? Yeah, so in Rockland County we had youth who did some watercolor paintings, a research paper, and also uh, some photography and exhibits. So basically you can do anything at the State Fair. There's things from engineering to the traditional baking and sewing, also to animal shows. That's great. That's Sounds like a lot. Now, what do the 4-Hers get out of doing these presentations and uh, projects? So it's a great opportunity to receive recognition for the great work that they've done. It's also a great way for them to increase their communication skills with the public, and also to just to show the, uh, the general public what 4-H is and the great work that we're doing. That's great. And now I'm sure you also get to see all the other 4-Hers projects from across the state and find out different things that you might be interested in. Definitely. There's a lot of inspiration to be had at the State Fair. There's so many projects that you wouldn't even think about, like digital uh, programs to research projects and community service projects that you can learn about. It's a great opportunity. That does sound like a really wonderful opportunity for our 4-Hers. Mm -hmm. And now, uh, how do 4-Hers go to State Fair? What do we, what's the process? Yeah, so first, youth typically choose projects that they do throughout the year and they can choose any sort of exhibits or projects that they've been working on to be evaluated at the county level and then potentially at the state level. And so basically they can bring their projects to this the county where they're evaluated based off of the Danish style of judging, which is based off of a standard for their experience and for their age. And so the evaluators, they look at uh, you know what they've done well, but they also give them suggestions for improvement because we really want to help them to develop their skills to continue on to the project. And so then once they get up to State Fair, a new um, set of evaluators will evaluate them at a higher level um, and then again offer more feedback for them. That's great. So now for the next year, because this fair happens every year, mm -hmm. do the 4 Hers choose new topics or do they develop their project further for the next round? Right, so 4-H is really about to make the best better. So we really encourage youth to stay with the same project, but to increase their experience level. So, you know, from a presentation standpoint, they might do something very simple in the beginning, but then can increasingly uh, develop the complexity so that they have this really amazing skill set in the future. But we do want them to experience new activities as well. So that's why trying different things and then seeing what, what they like. That's great. Now, aside from the 4-H component, what else happens at State Fair? There's a lot. It's a really fun opportunity. So the State Fair is really a showcase of the New York State. So there's agriculture, there's history, there's also uh, things like the birthing center, which is a really fun one. So there's cows are giving birth on a daily basis and they have people there to explain them. There's seal shows, there's entertainment. Last year they had Big and Rich and a boogie with the hoodie, which is a lot of fun. So there's definitely a lot of opportunities there. That's great. It sounds like there are so many different things you can do up there. And I, I just want to know, is it something that's costly? Not at all. So if you're a 4-H member, you can actually get free daily passes to go up there. Mm -hmm and parking, and then we also have a dorm, which is $2 a night, right above the youth building. So it's a lot of fun, 
and it's not that expensive. And even for the general public, the entry fees are not that expensive, and there's a lot of free things to do at the fair. That's great. It sounds like a wonderful opportunity to sample a little bit of all different aspects of New York State culture mm -hmm. and to have a good time with your family. And the good news is it's not over, right? It's going through the second? Yep. So it always goes through Labor Day, so it's, you still have time to enjoy the last bits of summer. So if you don't have plans for this weekend, you should head up to the great New York State Fair and see all the different exhibits from 4-H and all the different animal shows and the concerts and sample all the different food that they have from the vendors yeah. and just have a great time. And I want to thank Ms. Kristen for coming on and being my guest and telling us all about the State Fair. And we'll be back next week with another episode of Good Work New York. And that's some good work, New York. Bye. Bye.